Yo, what's up? This is In The Streets with Keese. I know a lot of people watch my content on Columbia, whether that's Medellin or Cartagena. I just want to give you some tips to keep you safe while you out there. So my first tip is that if you're going to eat, try to eat upstairs at a restaurant or either in the back of the restaurant. I've seen a lot of robbery videos and I can guarantee the one thing I haven't seen is the robber jump off the moto and go upstairs to try to rob somebody. Typically they try to rob the first people they get to and then they run off. So if you're in the back of the restaurant or you upstairs, you probably safe or at least you got a chance to try to tuck yours away maybe. The second tip I got is don't bite off more than you can chew. I can swear every time I've been out in Columbia, I've seen dudes pack a taxi cab full of girls, three, four girls. And just remember, if you got a bunch of girls with you, you can't watch everybody at the same time. And you never know how many of them got devious things in their mind to try to convince the other girls to do it to you. So it's a lot of people getting drugged right now. So you don't want that to happen to you. And the more people you got to watch, man, that's, that's bad. Man, the next thing, we got to stop wearing jewelry. I know I wear my chains all the time, but a lot of people are getting robbed for their chains and I always say don't bring things that you don't necessarily want to lose and those things can make you a target. I've seen a bunch of videos with dudes snatch chains and me even personally, I almost had my chain snatched by a chick. I kind of laughed it off, but she didn't get it. But check out this video real quick. Hey, I can follow me. So at the time, I didn't notice that this guy was probably in on it the whole time. The dude tries to shield me from seeing the girl. The girl tries to snatch it. Doesn't happen, but that's something y'all gotta watch out for. The next thing is consider getting a crossbody bag. A lot of times I'll bring my crossbody bag just in case I wanna throw my GoPro in there or some stuff that I don't really care about. I don't wanna have my pockets so big where people try to pickpocket and they can do it easily. So consider getting you a little bag to hold and then you can kind of hold that bag in front of you and make sure nobody can get in that too. The next thing is yo, stop getting so drunk. A lot of people I see out there are almost so drunk that they passing out. When you get that drunk, people can't tell whether you got drugged or you just drunk and now you just all over the place. People don't know how to measure whether you okay or not. And when you get so drunk, you're not really on your game. So you're not really watching people as much as you should. You're not quite as alert. So you see that all the time. One of the ways I consistently hear people get drugged is they drinking. They sit their drink down around a chick. Next thing you know, they passed out waking up a day or two later. And that's crazy. I had one of my subscribers that that happened to. He was drinking with a chick. Went to the bathroom, left his drink, came back and said he felt sleepy. Put his bag on the table, fell asleep, and when he woke up, he was $500 broker. So I started drinking back again, like five minutes later. I'm like, you know, I start falling back asleep. I'm like, before I could wake up, my up, like she took all my, hold on. I have a whole stack of money with me. She took all my shit. She picked like $500 for me. If you feel like you're in a crowded space and somebody might try to scope you or you're in a dark alley or something, consider just throwing your mask on. In today's time, that don't seem so crazy, but if you got a mask on, they probably won't even try it. And hopefully you got a good enough mask that can stop some of the particles. My next tip is don't go alone. I know a lot of people are into this solo travel movement, but some places, probably just not the best place for it. So if you can help it, man, grab at least one friend or at least try not to look alone. Because the moment you alone, you definitely a target for the wolves. If you ever seen Animal Planet, the lions wait till they get that one gazelle alone by themselves and that's who they go for. They don't really go for the pack like that. My next tip is try to eat somewhere with like a digital menu. I know y'all seen a lot of people get scammed on the beach with all these crazy prices. They tell you it's one price, you get another price, and the next thing you know it's $200, $300. I don't do that. I try to eat at places with digital menus where you can screenshot it, you can look at it, and the price is the price. Now, I know if you're at the beach all day, you might not be able to help it. If you're only going to the beach for like an hour or two, man, you can eat before or after and kind of avoid all that drama. Another tip is don't drink the water. I already said before that I take my toothbrush to my water bottle and that has kept me safe the whole time. Try not to drink drinks with ice in it because the water, a lot of places are not filtrated. So be careful out there. You don't want to mess your trip up by getting sick um, just because you forgot and you drunk the water. So, so try to get some sweatpants with some zippers on it or at least some shorts, like some cargo shorts or something. They got a bunch of pockets where you can tuck stuff away. Cause I swear like the number one way I see people lose money is by getting pickpocketed. You also got to watch your hat cause I seen people get their hat snatched and some kid ran off. So be careful. Try to stay somewhere clean and close. Check out some of my hotel options. I swear a lot of people end up getting robbed. 
a comment or going someplace. So if you can stop yourself from being transported one place or another back and forth, you can kind of save yourself a lot of heartache by somebody following you and robbing you. So if you like this video, consider subscribing. I got a lot more videos coming with a lot more information. I appreciate y'all. Peace.